BSF Enterprises is focused on unlocking the next generation of biotech solutions using cell-based tissue engineering to help generate cultured meat, lab-grown leather and skin, as well as human corneas, uh, collagen growth agents, um, and uh, skin substitutes for skin cream. So we're very pleased to announce today that uh, we've con completed a reverse takeover of 3D Biotissue, a world-leading tissue engineering business based in Newcastle and uh, spun out just recently by Newcastle University. We're living in um, unprecedented times in cell growth and agriculture. This technology solves for the future food shortages, reduces greenhouse gases and revolutionises food production. We're living certainly in exciting times. Biotissues is a, a spin out from Newcastle University from 2018, uh, building upon know how um, and technologies developed in the lab for the last 10 to 15 years in and around tissue engineering. That means growing tissues from cells themselves. What we have now in 3D Biotissues is patent protected IP that's already producing human corneas that could help restore vision to millions of people. It actually has uh, three strands of IP, each with a different sector focus, development and revenue timeline. For example, we have the IP around the uh, serum-free media we call 3D BT City Mix. It's an animal-free cell growth agent for helping the culture of skin, muscle and fat cells. And it will be used extensively in the lab-grown meat and leather production industries. Secondly, we have some IP around, uh, um, uh, it's called a lipopeptide. It's a molecule uh, that can be used in a variety of different applications, but we're focusing on, uh, on its use in skin care. This lipopeptide, uh, called uh, Etzel, actively increases collagen production in human skin cells and can be used in cosmetics and skin care products. And then lastly, uh, we have some IP um, around tissue production, which we call tissue templating. And this is a platform that allows you to grow different tissues, but with, importantly, with natural structure and function, such that, for example, the cornea, um, for a surgeon and for the, the patient, they would not be able to tell the difference between these lab-grown corneas and, the, and actual corneas. The lab-grown meat is a particularly exciting market with a huge forecasting growth in this cultured meat sector with uh, a compound annual growth rate of over 400% um, from uh, 2021 to 2030 and an estimated market size of almost $13 billion by 2030. A recent report by Kearney uh, predicts a that 60% of all meat products in 2040 will actually be lab-grown or plant-based. One of our other areas that I touched upon is the cornea. We've been developing that for a number of years, and that's addressing a market of 13 million or so people that are currently awaiting corneal transplants, but do not have access to the tissue. So we're looking to um, really alleviate this, the suffering of, the, of these people. What BSF wants to be looking to do with 3D biotissues is look for other complementary technologies that we can acquire and form part of the group to be able to capture the food technology revolution that we're looking at at the moment, the cellular tissue revolution in cellular agriculture. And we'll be looking to do further acquisitions as well as enhancing 3D biotissues, uh, lab-grown meat and lab-grown leather products. Building on its success to date, uh, 3D Biotissues is focused on producing the UK's first 100% lab-grown meat. Um, we call it meat as you know it, and we'll be doing that over the next 12 months. We'll be using the funds raised in this exciting relisting uh, to expand the team here at uh, Newcastle and to market the company's animal free cell growth agent, Serum Free Media, as well as uh, pushing the licensing into cosmetics. 
we're living in a, uh, a very exciting technological revolution. What the internet did 30 years ago uh, in advancing technology, this will happen with this type of technology for food in the future. BSF wants to capture world leading food technology platforms and be part of this rapidly changing world.